Will I be able to hear my students on Zoom if I'm using the Rode Wireless Go or any other external wireless microphone? The question's been coming up a bit lately, so I'm gonna answer it real quick for you here. And it's not as easy as just saying yes or no. By the way, I'm Ashley, I'm a yoga teacher, and I love to help yoga teachers with confidence, skills, technology, and all the things needed to get out there and actually teach. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified when I post new tips videos. And make sure you hit the like because this is good information. So let's talk about if you're able to hear your students. The short answer is yes, but my next question to you is what are you filming on? What are you using Zoom? What's your device? Are you doing this on a phone or a computer? Because it makes a difference. If you're on a computer, there's more options, there's more accessibility, there's more functionality versus when you're on a phone or a tablet. So let's go through that real quick. If you're on a computer and you're using a wireless microphone, uh, make sure first that you're able to connect it and it is working. So with my um, with my computer, I have found that I had to get an additional cord that didn't come with this microphone. This black to black cable did. I kind of threw that out. I need it for a few other things, but I don't really use it. But I got the black to gray and the gray goes into your device or the black goes into your transmitter. The gray would go to your device, your phone, or your computer. Some people, it works just to plug this right into the headphone jack. It doesn't work for some Mac computers. It doesn't work for my 2015 MacBook Pro. So I've had to get a USB connector cable. And I would recommend getting one of these guys anyway because there's so much there's so much you can do with the, when you plug it in through USB rather than taking up that headphone jack. So on a computer, you should have no trouble whatsoever with hearing your students on Zoom. With Zoom on a computer, I'll, and I'll show you that right now, you go to the bottom left and hit the arrow by the audio settings, and you'll see this menu that pops up, and you can change the settings to your speaker and your microphone separately. Easy peasy. And you'll want to check on this anyway to make sure that your microphone is plugged in and actually connecting as your microphone. So I always make sure that my microphone is set to USB device and my speaker is set to the internal speaker of my computer so that I can hear people on my computer. Yes, you can set it to something else if you wanted to, but if you set it to your, your, your microphone, you're not going to hear anything. There's no speaker inside of the microphone. So just make sure that the settings are set in your app on your computer and you're good to go. So there should be no issues there. On a phone, this is a little bit different. So same cable applies. On a phone, you might need one of these guys. If you've got if you've got an iPhone, you'll need the lightning cable adapter or an iPad. Um, again, for some if you've got you know if you've got a headphone jack, it might work for you. I don't. I have an iPhone 12, 12 Pro. So it plugs in through this short little cable chain, the SC7 cord, this one, this is the receiver by the way. For the microphone piece, I just usually clip this on. They connect, it's cool. So anyway, so we've got this and you're set up for Zoom. This automatically, you don't have to change any settings for this to work as your microphone. It's just going to work. You might ask your students, like you tap on this to make sure it's connected and ask them if it's working. Uh, but to hear them, this takes up the the ability to hear them. So you're not able to unless, and this is the one workaround I found, you connect your phone to a Bluetooth speaker or Bluetooth headphone. So pair your phone with something that's Bluetooth. And then when you go to Zoom, if you tap on the top left, top left, I'll show it to you here. Uh, if you tap on the top left, you have the ability to set the speaker to something else, which would be your Bluetooth. But that's not going to, going to change your microphone. So you set the speaker to Bluetooth and you're able to hear, whether it's like an AirPod or an earbud or a speaker like this old one that I have, you maybe can find these for very cheap. I think you can. This is seriously like 10 years old. Um, but I set that and I'm able to hear my students, my participants while I'm using the microphone. And that's the only way that I've seen it works for that, but it's a good workaround. If you have to do it, awesome. I always recommend 
using a computer, if you have one, there's just a lot more functionality there and you can see more of the grid and you can record separately. I record on QuickTime in the background of Zoom, but that's besides the point. Uh, I also want to just mention that I have tried splitter cables and other things like this, and it makes the cable chain really, really long and it didn't work anyway. So I've, I've purchased other cords, other adapters, other cables. I've tested things out and it hasn't worked, but I know for sure this works. I know for sure that these cables work and I know the USB cable works. If you want a little bit more in depth on some of those, head on over to my playlist. If you want to see comparison, AirPods versus Rode Wireless Go or anything like that, again, head over to my other playlist and check out some of those, um, some of those videos. Again, I have loved using this microphone for the past nine months. It's worked splendidly. And yes, I'm able to hear my students. So it depends what device you're using. Hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks for your questions. And I always love uh, helping out fellow yoga teachers who are especially those of you just getting started teaching online. Again, hit the like button if this was valuable to you. Hit that subscribe button to learn more about technology, teaching and confidence and sequencing skills for yoga teachers. And if you're not yet there, head on over to my Facebook group, Yoga Sequencing and Teaching Tips, because we're always in there creating really great conversations, asking and answering questions, and providing some really valuable information for new yoga teachers. And I'd like to help you with your journey as a yoga teacher as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video very soon.